Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at Cloud Development Kit, also known as CDK, which uh, is a way to write infrastructure as code using an imperative paradigm with your favorite language. So let's get into it. All right, so to understand CDK, I want to talk about transpilers here for a moment. So a transpiler turns one source code into another. And so CDK transpiles into CloudFormation templates. So, you know, just a simple diagram. Uh, we have a CDK on the left, and then that turns into CloudFormation templates under the hood. Uh, and so this is uh, the difference between an imperative infrastructure and a declarative infrastructure. So let's talk about these two differences. So imperative is when you have something that's implicit, uh, you know what resources will be created uh, in the end state, and this allows for more flexibility, less you have less certainty because you don't know exactly what's going to be created. You don't you don't have fully control or visibility on it, but you generally know what is going to happen, but you get to write less code. And so an example of something being imperative is saying, you know, I want an EC2 instance, but you go and fill in all the other details. I just want to tell you that I want to have one. I don't want to have to worry about uh, everything else. And so that is what CDK is. It's imperative. Then when we were looking at declarative, uh, on the right-hand side here, it's explicit. We know what resources will be created in the end state. Uh, there's less flexibility. Uh, we're very, very certain of every single little thing that's going to happen, uh, but we have to write a lot more code. And so a uh, comparative example to uh, imperative is, I want an EC2 instance, and I have to tell you exactly every detail of it. And that is what CloudFormation is. It's declarative by nature. So I said earlier, you get to use your favorite language using CDK. Uh, and so let's talk about some of the language support it has. So CDK was first available only using TypeScript, and then they eventually started releasing for other languages. So we have Node, uh, TypeScript, which again is just Node, uh, Python, Java, and ASP.NET. So that's what we have so far. If you're wondering exactly what versions, uh, that is what it supports. I'm still waiting for a Ruby version, and hopefully, um, you know, when you're watching this video, a Ruby version becomes available. Uh, but generally, I think whatever language is um, is supported by AWS generally is what we'll see. So I would not be surprised if they do a PHP one and also a Ruby one here. Uh, but I don't think you'll get one in PowerShell. Uh, just I want to make a note about how up to date CDK is with CloudFormation. So the CDK API. Uh, they may have yet to implement uh, specific APIs for uh, uh, AWS resources that are available in CloudFormation. It's just because it takes time for them to uh, write this stuff and they have a lot of languages to support, but it's my best guess that TypeScript would be the one that supports the most AWS resources. Uh, and then the other ones would follow behind. I would think Python uh, would be next and then Java and then uh, probably ASP.NET would be last. But um, just consider that in mind. So that is one of the things you have to think about with CDK, which is if you need full control of what CloudFormation uh, offers, you might have to just use CloudFormation templates. Uh, so you do have to explore there and see what you can do.